Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I style my hair. I'm going to be going for my effortless curly look. Alright, just washed my hair, just came out the shower, everything's all cleaned and conditioned. Um, I use Cantu leave-in conditioner. Ooh. Ooh. Don't have a lot left. Yikes. But... Eh, not too worried about that and I use Shea Moisturizer Gel Souffle and Eco Styler Gel. It doesn't matter which gel you use, but I like Eco Styler. All right, hair is freshly washed and somewhat detangled. <laughs> gonna add the leave-in conditioner. I'm not gonna use a lot, just like this much. The only reason why I'm leaving I'm using a leave-in conditioner is because of my bleach ends. I need to keep it moisturized and I just massage it into my hair. Whew. Use my comb. Where's my big comb? I'm gonna use my brush. Oh, I'm gonna use my comb. All right, <sighs> I really need a haircut, guys. It's too much hair for me. Once you get used to short hair life, you don't really want to go back to long hair because of all this shit, my leaf tangling and all that. Um, I have not been to the barber since January. I need to get a haircut. Pronto, the coronavirus. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my face is all screwed up. So. Brand new, ordered it on Amazon for nine dollars. Cheap on Amazon and in Target. I think Target is selling it for eleven. All right, good. I don't use a lot of this, and the reason why is because it can give your hair like a sticky feeling, like too oily and too tacky. So I don't use a lot. I changed the consistency for this. First time I had this, it wasn't so jelly-like. It was more like almost like slushy, but now it's so solid. Before it was a bit runny. I wonder if because I was in Jamaica and it was warmer, and here I have like central AC, so it's cool. I never had it so thick before. Do I need to put this in the microwave? <laughs> this is like jello. I look at it. All right, I'm gonna put it in. Like, uh, um, this might not turn out how I planned because of this. Like, did you see it come off? All right, I'm gonna microwave it. All right, so I microwaved it for one minute, um, 30 seconds, I stopped it, then I took a fork and I mixed it around, and then I put it back in for the remainder. And I took it out when it was finished, I mixed it again. Ooh, I mixed it again. And it's a bit more watery. It's still thick. It's almost to the consistency that I, I know it should be. So yeah, it's, it's hot though. It's hot, <laughs> it's really hot. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys, oh fuck. All right, I'm gonna try. So I'm just gonna use like a little bit at a time. I don't use like the edges because it's like warm. It's actually hot, but it's warm at the edges, but you know, treat it like porridge. Start at the edges first. <laughs> so use that much. Put it in here, right here. I use my hands and comb it in. Then use this much gel. Let me comb it in. This is why I don't like the gel. The souffle is just not holding onto my hair. I'm gonna make my gel. I'm gonna it my hands. Oh guys, make sure you put the gel souffle first, then the gel, or else 
the gel and the leave-in conditioner will start to um, curdle, will start to like coagulate, clump up. And then you get that like white residue on the hair and you don't want that. Don't want that at all. And I always add more gel, eco gel, eco style gel, than the gel soufflé because as I said, the Shea Moisturizer gel soufflé will make your hair tacky and sticky, right, greasy. And you don't want that. So I want to like define some spots that aren't really curly because that's due to the bleach. Ugh, can't do the rest of my head. You don't know. Shoot, I don't want to mix up in there. Huh. I'm making myself stronger each day they progress. The last touches. I got to dry quickly because it's short. I didn't curl them. My fault in that because I should have. There's a gel souffle. Ugh. I'm just put it in there. Put some gel up in there. Put it like a coin. And take up. Oh, take my brush and just brush it through. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a brush. brush just helps me to get the hair or the sponge. I don't know why I use it to be honest. I feel it makes my work easier. Probably that's why I use it. I want braids guys. So this is how it looks. So this is how it looks when it's wet, um, when it's dried. I take a pick and fluff it out, and that's how you get like the big curly afro. 
I will show you how it looks in probably two days. So the today's what? Thursday. Look at look at these curls. Look at my curl pattern. Okay. Just defining some of the curls. Hey guys, so this is my hair fully dried. Um, as you can see, it's very curly and short. All right, so I'm gonna fluff it out. Uh, ooh, length. All right, with a pick, fluff it out with a pick. I'll start at the root. this I fluff it out at the root get it a little you know volume and then I just do this at the tips all right <laughs> this is the final look as you can see I've fluffed up the roots um, fluffed up the curl okay that one little hair. Okay, good. Sometimes you gotta, you know, tuck it in to get the look that you want. I laid my edges, um, the back or the sides. I just do this, do like this with my fingers, just to, I guess, fluff up the curls. I don't pick the sides. I don't pick the sides. I just leave them. All I do is just probably spray them with some leave-in conditioner and just do this. But this is the top. And this is the look. Yeah. yeah. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as soon as possible. And I'll also list the products that I used um i find this look to be very easy and quick if you don't want to fluff up your hair you don't have to but i i like my hair with uh with some volume um this is my this is my my look my signature look <laughs> um yes so please like and subscribe to my channel see you guys